Hi guys and welcome to All About The Philippines. Now, we've heard about another taxi scam in the Philippines with Mike and Nelly from Making It Happen vlog. And that led to the taxi driver that tried to scam them, losing his taxi license and being charged by the authorities. And of course he's lost his job as well. Now, prior to that we heard about Hayley Dasovich's experience with a Manila taxi driver and that went viral on YouTube. The thing is we hear a lot about scams in the Philippines and undoubtedly there are plenty of scams going on in the Philippines but I do believe the Philippines gets a bit of a bad rap at times with people saying the Philippines has the worst scammers in the world or the most amount of scammers in the world and I think that's really unfair because uh, it's not really the facts. On the whole, Philippines has the most friendly and welcoming people in, in the world. And there are a few people there who do create schemes in order to live. As in most third world countries or developing countries, you will find people scamming as a way to survive. Generally speaking, most of the scams going on in the Philippines are low tech scams. Things like dating scams and taxi scams, for example. Now, you compare that to other countries in the world who are going high tech scams and taking hundreds of thousands of dollars away from some unsuspecting people. And really, the scale of what they do in the Philippines is nowhere near to some other countries. Now, in this video, we're about to have a look at which are the top 10 scamming countries in the world. So stay tuned. So coming in at number one on the list is Nigeria. So the old Nigerian scams, which you'll get through email or Facebook messages, and they'll probably tell you about an elaborate or fake story about large amounts of money in the central bank or large amount of inheritance that is difficult for them to access because of their government restrictions on their taxes in their country. So what they'll try and do is get out of you your bank account details so they can take everything that's in your bank account. Now that's been going on for some time in Nigeria and they come in at number one on the list. So India is number two on the list and like the Philippines, they've got plenty of taxi scams going on over in India. So they'll, the drivers will pretend uh, not to know the way to your hotel in order to get more money out of you. They'll also offer to take you to another hotel which is a far more expensive hotel where they'll get a bit of a kickback from the hotel itself. Another popular scam involves tourists being approached by a gem dealer who convinces them to buy some worthless gemstones. You'll be asked to import them under a duty-free allowance and then sell them off to one of his fictitious friends for a much more a greater price than originally paid. So they're cashing in and making money on, at your expense. So next on the list we have China. So they come in at number three. Now China is very good at doing this. They've incorporated technology to scamming unsuspecting masses of people. College entrance scam is one method they use to scam parents by convincing them that the child can get into uh, college even with poor results. So they'll give them a whole heap of stories around that and the parents will believe wanting their children to go to a good college and they will scam them for money. This is big business in China. So coming in at number four is Brazil. Now in Brazil, you need to be very careful of pickpocketers. It is a thing that goes on quite a lot in the Philippines as well as in Brazil. And also be very careful of kidnappings, which can happen around foreign exchange currency banks. So number five on the list is Pakistan. Now, Military scams have become so common that many crime-fighting organizations are sending out an alert. They are not easy to detect. Scammers have used high-ranking officials to pose as military members on online dating sites and social networks and engage in relationships whose only goal is to use people's images as a soldier. Currently deployed in Pakistan and they will find a way to let you send money to them. Criminals are also installing a virus on your computer where they steal everything in your computer and 
in the process to blackmail you to send them money. Number six on our list is Indonesia. Now, Indonesian scammers are pretty tech savvy and they're able to con people without knowing. So fraud cases have increased since the year 2000 and bank customers have been victimized by syndicates with the use of data capturing devices illegally installed in bank machines. So that's all that bank skimming stuff going on. And that comes a lot from Indonesia. Number seven on our list is Venezuela. So since the economy plunged into recession, there have been massive cases of scamming ranging from online dating to fake government bonds. So while Venezuela doesn't have overly elaborate scams, they do have plenty of scams around that type of thing, uh, which is probably similar to what the Philippines does have. Now coming in number eight on the list is South Africa. So a report going back in 2015 indicated South Africans were the most affected by banking related fraud. This included phishing, visiting spoof banking websites and receiving false message notifications of bank withdrawals or deposits. So it would seem South Africa are not into the uh, smaller type of scams such as you know, taxis, that sort of thing. They're going out for the big money through uh, people's bank accounts. The Philippines comes in at number nine on the list. Now, as we've discussed before, most of what goes on in the Philippines are around scams, are around dating, romance scams. There's some pickpocketing going on there. There's taxi scams and a few other types of scams where people do that as a way of surviving. So it's a very common thing, but you can protect yourself against a lot of those scams that are going on there simply by being aware of what's going on and using a bit of common sense around what you do in the Philippines. Coming in at number 10 on our list is Romania. Now, after the fall of communism, Romania slumped to poverty and corruption. Over years, Romania has built a reputation over internet scams that have been successful. Scammers have been able to dupe innocent people into online dating, phishing, and also sale of non-existence products. So the type of scams they do in Romania may not be very high tech, but again, it's a way for people there to survive as in many other developing countries around the world or countries that are struggling. So as you see there, guys, what goes on in the Philippines is pretty minor scamming compared to many countries which are very high tech scamming and they're out to make a lot of people, you know, they're out to make... They're out to take a lot of people's money, you know, really big money. So while it's not right what goes on in the Philippines and those other countries, you can actually protect yourself by doing your own research around the different types of scams and what to look out for when you're in the Philippines. Because most of the scams will happen in the Philippines or online with dating scams. That's their biggest things, is the dating scams and taxi scams that sort of stuff, which is really not very high tech. And you can protect yourself, as I say, against that sort of thing. So many other countries there are doing far greater scams and even ones that didn't make on the list. Look, even the country I live in in Australia, there's plenty of scams going on here where people are losing houses. They're losing tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars to various scams that go on in this country. So Philippines, I believe, gets a pretty bad rap in a lot of instances, you know, when you can actually protect yourself against the majority of the scams that are going on in the Philippines. So if you want to leave your comments below, I'd like to hear what you think about the list we've got here and if uh, Philippines sits fairly in that list or should they be higher or should they not be on that list at all? Um, what are your experiences around being scammed in the Philippines or maybe even some of these other countries we've mentioned? And do you think that you can actually protect yourself against scams that go on in the Philippines? As I've said, I believe that everyone can protect themselves against the scams if they do their research and they are very careful when they're in the Philippines or talking to potential partners from the Philippines. So... Thanks very much for watching, guys. I appreciate all your support. Take care and bye for now.